Welcome everybody, I am Polar Ice and welcome to the Polar Ice Network. Today we will be unboxing the Xbox Series X. Try saying that five times fast, Xbox Series X. Xbox Series X. So that's not that bad actually. However, I don't know why they didn't give it a more unique name because I have the Xbox X and Series X and One and Xbox One and S and there are all of these weird name schemes to them and I'm sure there's some psychology to it all. However, this is the Xbox Series X and today we'll be taking a look at this beautiful little system here um, and seeing what's inside and how it looks. Okay, quick story. So, getting this bad boy was not easy. Comparable to the PS5, there was a lot of challenge being able to actually secure the unit because we know that basically all the retailers were not selling the physical copies in the store. That led everybody to have to purchase them online. So, being Petty Murphy and Petty LaBelle, Xbox threw jabs at Sony for basically, in a very subtle way, it wasn't overt, but they basically were saying, we're going to actually have an official release date for everybody to actually come and purchase the systems. And as we know with the PS5, basically, uh, as soon as it was, you know, unveiled, uh, a lot of the retailers jump-started selling the units, and they sold out literally uh, within a, a short period of time for them being unveiled for the first time, truly for the first time, the official uh, and giving an official release date uh, through the Sony um, actual broadcast. And so um, everybody, as we know, was trying to get them, systems were crashing, etc., etc. Speed ahead a week later with the pre-order of the Xbox Series X. Why do they call it the Xbox Series X? Uh, it makes me wonder. Like, I have the Xbox One X. Um, there's the Xbox S, I think, or something like that, and this is the Xbox Series S, but there's also the Xbox S Series S. I, I, it's just way too many. The, 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 the naming scheme that these, some of these systems use is I don't understand. However, it is the Xbox Series X. And so, on the release date when it came out, it was as equally challenging as the debacle that PS5 experienced. Crashed systems, everybody trying to get them, um, basically relentlessly trying to get it into my cart, almost had it, sold out came back another batch of them, sold out, repeat, was able to finally get to the checkout, system crashes, eventually I'm able to get through, um, and was able to secure a unit. So I'm very fortunate for that. And uh, for those of you who have not secured one, um, sorry, uh, but I do think that they will be releasing some more, hopefully before the end of the year. Um, but if not, Hopefully, if you guys want to live vicariously through my experience, I invite you guys to come take a look and share in the fun. So this is the first time, this is the first time that I've actually opened up this system, um, or the box, so I want to do it live so that I can have that same energy and that same excitement that many of you may have and share it with each of you. So what we'll do today is unbox it, take a look at what's included here, examine and compare it to the Xbox uh, One X, which is the one, that, the one that I currently use. I actually had the original Xbox uh, one and um, I upgraded to the X because I wanted the 4K and I just wanted all the cool features that it had. And one of the things I appreciate about the Xbox is that it has the ability to be able to be a truly a multimedia system. So it's not just that it plays video games, which nothing, no knock to any other consoles because it's a console system, a video game system. But the Xbox always posits itself to be a actual. Um, you know, a in, in multimedia entertainment hub, so you can control and manipulate cable and dish and things like that that may hook up through the, you know, the, the actual peripherals, peripherally in the back of the system. Um, obviously, it plays movies, uh, and of course, it plays games. But for today, we will just simply examine what is included in the box. So with that being said, let's get to it. So let's take a look first with the box. We have here on the box, uh, the actual Xbox system itself. Um, but it's kind of a this angular kind of look here, um, with the kind of the green, the, you know, the, 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 the trademark green emblem of the Xbox, with its simple logo here, um, and we have, I'm not sure what this is, but it, we definitely know it reads in 4K, 120 FPS, and this is Series X here, the logo here on the side, and um, I'm assuming that's going to be the power button. Not sure what this looks like, but it looks like the Aspergo logo from Assassin's Creed. Um, maybe Aspergo created this. Whoa. So, even if that's not the case, uh, we have a one terabyte SSD. So it's uh, you know it's the, the very fast uh, hard drive that we have, solid sleep drive, and. 
on the very top of the box, we have the actual console standing uh, in its vertical position with its controller, which doesn't really, it apparently, it doesn't appear to um, vary much from the actual original Xbox controller that we've come to all grow, love, and know very fondly. And again, our Xbox emblem. On the side of the box, it's again another vertical perspective uh, of the actual system. They really want you to just see how it looks. Very tall, but very small, kind of compact. A lot of more rich information here on the side where it really shows the processor chip, which, uh, chip which Microsoft is really boasting and talking about. They've really accomplished some simply amazing things. Um, and here we have the Obscurgo logo is actually the Xbox Velocity architecture. Um, and this does record in 4K, uh, 120, and also 8K HDR. Um, one terabyte VRR, variable refresh rate, and 4K Blu-ray player, which the 4K Blu-ray player was already in the other Xbox systems if you got the most recent ones, the, the white one and the black one, this, uh, series, uh, the Xbox One X S or whatever it was called. And I mix all these names up. Um, and it says in here it includes a high-speed HDMI cable, wireless networking capability. I would be very upset if it did not have wireless uh, connectivity. Um, of course, the console and one controller, and we just have here Dolby DTSX, HDMI, and Ultra HD Blu-ray. So, that being said, we have the back of the unit with the very famous and well-known Master Chief from Halo, which is not going to be released until next year. How does one have an Xbox launch without Master Chief for Halo? I don't know, but as soon as it comes out, I will be getting it, and I'm quite sure it's going to be impressive. But um, it just has here, it talks, it's boasting and broadcasting the Game Pass, um, how you can play thousands of games, it says, for, gen for four generations of Xbox, um, redefined speed with the Xbox Velocity app, agriculture, or architecture, excuse me, architecture. <laughs> and again, we have the Scargo logo, and then we have the system itself. Master Chief here saying, power your dreams. Dream. And we have the very bottom of the box um, with just basically a lot of in important information. I'm going to kind of hide that there is a serial number, but um, we just have some basic small fine print stuff there. So let's take this bad boy out the box and see what's inside, shall we? So we have some tape here. Lot easier to remove than the PlayStation. And we have some on this side as well. It feels right off. And unlike the PlayStation, which clearly shows the, the way that you're supposed to open it, this does not. So I want to make sure I don't open it on the wrong side. But I know that this is not... Oh, we have some tape here on the bottom as well. Two slab tapes. Nice about this is it comes with a little piece where you can actually pull uh, with the PlayStation. I almost kind of at one point felt like I would have to get some scissors or a razor or something like that. Um, but then when you release that, it opens easily. And here we are. So we have here immediately something here that says, power your dreams. Power your dreams. So we can already see here that they're really boasting dreams and fantasy. Um, and this is the console. It's not buried in a lot of things. And wow, it's incredibly tiny, very small. Um, and we have some kind of looks like do not disturb tag that um, goes, you know, maybe on your door. No, just kidding, it does not. It doesn't even appear to have any instructions so far that we can see. So. In the box, it's very bare. Um, or actually, no, there are some stuff in the back. I was going to say, where's the power cord and stuff? But we have here some styrofoam, you know, kind of cusp to hold the system in place. Um, the system that we just pulled out from here, this very much looks like a scene out of uh, Halo, like a map or something that you're kind of like running around. And um, yeah, not quite sure why that is. But here we have things hidden in the top compartment. Now, in the top compartment, so in the top compartment, we have what we know to be the controller, which we will certainly take a look at in just a moment. 
uh, with a little piece of styrofoam keeping it in place neatly. No styrofoam keeping these in place, but these are our HDMI cables. It just simply says ultra high speed, no Xbox branding that I can see on there. So, um, but I'm assuming it has to, of course, guarantee 4K or 8K that it's boasting and advertising. And the power cord, which so far, if this is truly it, is a very welcome addition because we know that every one of the Xboxes always come with that ridiculous brick that you have to attach to certain things. Don't really remember now that I think about it if the, if the Xbox Series, um, or the Xbox One X has that, but we know for sure, certain that this is following suit as PlayStation has done for years with a singular cord that has the two circles on each end, simply that plugs in two the actual console, and the end, you know, with the two um, male prongs. So that is a standard plug. Be very good, like the PlayStation 5, where you don't have to kind of compete with other plugs that have these huge fat bricks attached to them, and they take up like two slots. Oh, I hate those so much. This will actually fit very nicely and neatly in there without the need for the brick. So very happy addition to see this here. Uh, big ups to uh, Microsoft for doing that. There is something else in here, but I don't know if that's actually a box, or perhaps that's just to keep things in order. I'm really paranoid they're going to come with bricks, so no, nothing else that's in there. So this is actually all there is in the box. So goodbye to bricks, hello to standard plugs and connectivity. Yeah, Microsoft is certainly the last one to the party with there. And we have our Microsoft product and regulatory guide, limited warranty and agreement. The Microsoft emblem on the back, or Microsoft logo on the back. So, again, our cord, HDMI cable, our controller, and our game. And we will get ready to examine both of those. But before we do, we would like to first take a look here at this card. So the card looks like it just is a quick start guide. Uh, it tells us getting started. It talks about some of the areas on the actual console. Uh, I like this because it does kind of give you a, a heads up on what things are. I did not find that on the PlayStation, though I think PlayStation pretty much keeps the same kind of, you know, idea, order of things from system to system. It is nice to have a nice reminder here where everything is. So it says here that it has, it looks like maybe this is the back of the system. I don't know, I've never opened it, but two USBs, an Ethernet, uh, a power port where we obviously see the power going into and a storage expansion um, extension, so I'm assuming that's where you can have like that uber expensive hard drive in order to get additional storage for the saving of your games and things and loading them there, and our HDMI port. It says here connect the power cord and HDMI to the console, then press the Xbox button on the top, on the front of the, control, the console to turn on. Um, and then it tells us to download the actual Xbox app, tap set up a console, or search for setup and then enter the code on the TV. Follow the steps of the Xbox app to finish setting up your code. So it's a nifty little instruction guide. And then we also have some additional support there. And on the back here it just says after setup insert two AA batteries. That's quite interesting. So um, I'm, not, I'm assuming that the, the, the controller itself does not actually include the rechargeable kit, which Sony definitely does. And Xbox has done this for many years. I don't know why they have not found a standard yet of having a default, just a chargeable battery set, I don't know, but anyways, you have to have two AA batteries. So that's definitely a knock against Xbox for that, in my opinion. And then it has here, to connect the controller, you want to press and hold the pair button on the console, and with, the, with that of the controller, we haven't seen the console yet, but it shows you here, and I think that that setup is pretty comparable to the other Xbox systems. And for the moment we have waited for, power your dreams. That's what this this uh, actual piece of paper here says, and yes, this has indeed been the dream that I have been dreamt about for a very long time. We see that there's this paper strip here that kind of holds the actual protective cover um, on there. We'll be removing this in just a moment and seeing what it looks like on the inside. So, um, we will slowly move this. I try to leave everything there so that I can kind of put it back if need be. Okay, so that over to the side. We have one piece of tape that just kind of holds it together. It's very much wrapped like a little present, so that's nice. It kind of gives the illusion of like opening up a gift on Christmas Day, if you will, uh, so or an envelope of some sort. So it's held by some tape here. And we'll peel the tape back. 
As you all know, I'm pretty particular when it comes to just making sure that things are kept in nice working order. So, I'll let you boy if you want some stuff that I'm selling, because it's all going to be in pristine condition, perfect like the day that I got it. I'm very anal about that. And here we are. The Xbox Series X. Now let's take a look and see what we have here. So, what we have here is the, and I will stand it up here in a moment, but just want to make sure that we get a nice um, view here um, of the kind of the top. Um, I was a little disappointed to see that. I always thought that when I saw this, these green holes would actually light up when the system came on, let you know that it was lit up, but it seems like that they're actually painted in, so um, that surprise is kind of destroyed, I guess, that dream. Um, but it's a very simple cube. It's it, it's actually there's it, it, it's I like it. It's simple. It's sleek. It's sexy. Um, I think that the PlayStation kind of actual design has a lot going on. It's just too much. It's very busy with all these slopes. I don't personally like it. I like the more modern, sleek look of a lot of the systems, and this executes it very well. Um, so it looks like a tower, kind of akin to I guess like the you know Alexa. Um, and, you know, the Apple HomePod, everything is kind of more vertical, so it has a more vertical uh, perspective, which is very interesting. And here again we have the green um, kind of logo that's inside, it looks like it's part of, it's painted in versus LED. And um, so let's first start kind of with the front of the actual system itself. Now, the front of the system we have here, um, the uh, actual connector button to connect your controller, I'm assuming, and perhaps who knows what other peripherals, with one singular USB slot. We also have our um, uh, 4K uh, disc driver, so our CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive, and I'm assuming to be the eject button and of uh, the power button. That is it. So USB, connector, disc, uh, eject, and power button. If we turn it over to the side, which is the side I would imagine if you wanted to actually set it more horizontally on, um, you would see that it has like small little grips at the bottom. So this thing also has weight. Uh, it's a nice size. Of, it, it definitely carries weight about itself. Uh, but we see the little matted uh, grips there, rubber grips, to make sure that there's no scratching of the actual system. So this is without a doubt the position that if you wanted to have it in a horizontal view, this is how it would look. Okay. We've already talked about the top, but let's talk about this bottom here that we have. So it's quite interesting. Um, so it looks like it's a stand for standing it up upright, but it's built already into the system. So you, you don't have to really put or remove anything. It's kind of embedded there and it looks fixated like it's not going to come off. So it's a part of the actual system itself, the peripheral itself, the connector. Um, and on the absolute top view, which would be if it were in the horizontal look, we just have an Xbox logo there. And now we will turn the console very gently onto its back. We will now take a look at the back. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So we again have the vent cover holes um, and the storage expansion, which we talked about. Uh, we saw it actually in the um, quick start guide. Um, below the storage expansion, there's like these four dots on this ridge. It almost felt like Braille, but I, I don't think that's it. It's just this kind of Xbox's obsession with these circles. Uh, and there's four of them directly below it. We have our HDMI out with one singular horizontal kind of feel uh, there. Oh, a slot for our AC adapter to plug into. Again, very nice to not have a brick. And we have our Ethernet, uh, or our, our LAN connector with two uh, SS USB slots. Presumably it has to be USB 3. I can imagine it would come out with the console of the system that is not at least HDMI 3. Um, and we also see this kind of rectangular lock which does indicate that this is to lock it with its name Xbox Series X on there. And also, I'm not really quite sure what this is, but it's some kind of a horizontal 
something, I, I'm not really quite sure, a vent of some sort. And that is it. Uh, there really isn't anything else to talk about about the system. It's straight down to business, straight, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and I'll, again, just kind of briefly review each one of those for you. So we have our front view here, um, again, with our uh, disk drive for 4K movies or disk. Because I'm old school and I like disk, so I really did like that, that, that it did have the ability to just have it built in there. Um, the ejector button, a USB connector, presumably for the controller, but maybe some other peripherals that you can plug into USB that may come out. Again, where it ejects, and our power plug. Um, on the side here, we don't have, well, on this side, we have the rubber grips to, to lay it down on the horizontal view, so it would ultimately sit as such. Um, we have on the very bottom of the unit, the stand which is built in, and we have at the front, or the circles, and we have here on the back the vent and the holes with all of the connectors that we have discussed. So, um, more specifically, we can take a look here. We have our uh, two USB ports, uh, SS, um, presumably to be USB 3, a LAN connector, our AC adapter, expansion port, and our HDMI um, out uh, input there. Um, we also have the place to lock our system into place, vents for there to be breathing room, and that is the front, or the top of it again. Nothing on the side except the very simple Xbox emblem. And that is it. There's really nothing else to talk about about, you know, with this actual look. So that concludes our unboxing, guys. If you enjoyed this, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channels, the Polar Ice Network. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You can also find me on the um, on YouTube um, and also on Twitch. So my handle is pretty much the same on all of the Polar Ice. Um, but the name of, of course, our gaming experience is the Polar Ice Network. It's a network of all kinds of awesome and amazing things we'll talk about. We'll be doing bit unboxings of all kinds of technology, especially video gaming. Uh, we will also be doing unboxings and reviews of technology. Of course, live stream gaming, gameplays, and also we'll have guests kind of talking about all things that are gaming and geeks and even more, kind of whatever you guys want to hear. So this is truly going to be a network for everyone and we, we're inclusive we want everybody to join I do ask that you guys give me some feedback because this is truly my first unboxing really ever done so I know there were a lot of things that need to be improved upon um, and if you haven't checked out this video um, also you know check out my uh, place if, if you enjoyed this video check out my PlayStation 5 unboxing as well which was done um, and we will you know again appreciate both of those experiences give me feedback on both things that you like things that you didn't like um, things that make things more interesting, set up, etc. Um, but please be nice. Uh, we're all a loving community here. You know, it's all about gaming and fun. So don't be rude. Uh, give a brother a chance. It's his first time. And I hope that you enjoyed this. So welcome, Xbox, to the family. You are going to be playing with your new brother, the PlayStation 5. You guys play nice. We will play, play, play. And we will have a great time. And with that, I am Polar Ice. This is the Polar Ice Network. Thank you for joining us. Take care. Peace.